Hey, what's up guys, Benny here, and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone video. Now, for my time playing Warzone, one of the best things that you can do to improve and be better at the game is to make sure that you've got the best loadouts possible. If you've got the best loadouts, you're in the best position to succeed. So in this video, I'm going to give you my top 10 best loadouts in Warzone. Each loadout is made for a different game situation or play style, so I'm able to be flexible with my squad to give us the best possible chance of a win. Before we get into the best Warzone loadouts, remember that your first loadout is the one you're going to be able to take out of the loadout drop the fastest. So make sure that that loadout is the one that you're going to be using most often. Also, I'd love to hear what the best loadouts are that you found down in the comments below. So my first loadout is what I like to call the overpowered MP7. This is the loadout and class that I currently use the most in Warzone and I love it. It's perfect if you want to rack up a ton of kills and play aggressively, getting into those short to medium range fights as much as possible. So the primary weapon is of course the MP7. For the muzzle, you'll want the one and only suppressor you should be using in Warzone, the Monolithic Suppressor. This first of all makes sure that your gun is suppressed so you don't appear as a red dot on the minimap, but also increases your gun's range which with a lot of fights in Warzone happening at longer ranges is important to this loadout. You then want the recon barrel for increased range, bullet velocity and recoil control. Then the tack laser for faster aim down sight speed, aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. All pros with the con really not being that big of a negative as if you're aiming down sights with the MP7, you'll probably already be shooting and they just won't notice the laser anyway. Then for the final two attachments, you've got the commando foregrip for an increase in recoil stabilization and aiming stability. And then finally, a 60 round mag so you can take down entire squads without having to reload, something that you'll really appreciate in Warzone. This MP7 is designed to work well in almost all situations so that you don't have to run overkill, but instead get to run what I think is the best perk loadout possible straight away. Cold-blooded so you can't be seen on thermals, ghosts so you don't appear on UAVs and heartbeat sensors, which are two ways that squads get taken out all the time, and then amped, so you can switch between your primary and secondary weapons faster, along with increased rocket launcher reload speed. Which brings us on to the secondary weapon for this overpowered MP7 class, the RPG, which if I'm being completely honest, is really broken in Warzone right now, and I do hope that it gets changed, but right now it's one of the best things to have in one of your loadouts. The RPG is great at taking out enemy vehicles, players hiding in buildings, and players that you've downed that have managed to get behind cover. Amped makes you be able to fire those RPGs faster and also switch to your MP7 super quickly when you need to start using your weapon. Then for your lethal, I've started using Semtexes with this class as I have the RPG to counter enemy vehicles, but C4s are also a great choice. And then I use the heartbeat sensor to scan buildings before entering, though be aware, players with Ghost won't appear, but that's one of the best loadouts that you can have in Call of Duty Warzone right now. Then my second loadout is what I like to call the Overpowered Growl. As you can probably figure out, everything but the primary weapon is the same as the Overpowered MP7 class. The Growl is a ridiculously good assault rifle and probably one of the best weapons in the game right now. It's got a fast time to kill and almost no recoil paired with a decent rate of fire. You can drop entire squads with no problem at all at almost all ranges. So this setup for the Growl is what I think is best. You of course have the monolithic suppressor for that increased range and weapon suppression. Then the next important choice is the barrel where you want the FSS 26.4 Archangel. Now there's two reasons you want this barrel. Firstly, the iron sight is super clean and is really easy to use, meaning you don't need an optic attachment, which is important. As the base iron sight for the growl isn't great, then it also increases your damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control to help make it that laser beam at medium range which melts opponents, which is what we all want. Then for the underbarrel, you want the Cronin Shark 2, which increases your aiming stability. And then you want the 60 round mag so you can just keep shooting until the enemy squad is eliminated. You won't have to reload that often. And then for the rear grip and your final attachment, you want the Cronin Sniper Elite, which increases your aiming stability and aim walking steadiness. 
This build is designed for perfect accuracy. The gun virtually has no recoil, so you don't have to think about recoil control. It's got a clean iron sight and a pretty fast time to kill, so it's going to help you rack up a lot of kills. And it's probably tied as the best assault rifle to use in Call of Duty Warzone. And please do let me know what you think about the growl down in the comments below. So those first two loadouts are my traditional run and gun setups for when I'm playing super aggressively with a squad. This next loadout is my go-to all rounder that includes a sniper, which I think is the best sniper loadout in the game. First of all, I use the M4A1, which I think is definitely tied with the Growl as the best assault rifle to use. It also now can have the OG iron sights from Modern Warfare 2 with a particular build, which is pretty cool. But my M4A1 setup is, of course, the monolithic suppressor. Then for the barrel, I use the stock M16 Grenadier just to help increase the M4's damage range, bullet velocity and recoil control. Now, the reason for this is you're going to get into a lot of long range fights in Warzone just because of the size of the map. So having that increased damage over range and bullet velocity is going to be key to you racking up a lot of kills. I then use the Forged Tac CQS stock for faster ADS speed, crucial for those end circles, then the stippled grip tape for my rear grip for even faster ADS and sprint to fire speed. And finally, the 60 round mag, because you guessed it, to help me take down entire squads without having to reload. Also, so I can put suppressive fire to help my teammates if and when needed, but still be able to pick up the kill. Then for the HDR, I use that monolithic suppressor again, the 26.9 HDR Pro barrel, which surprisingly enough is the barrel that gives increased damage range and bullet velocity, something you should always be thinking about adding to your weapons in Call of Duty Warzone. I then use the Merc Thermal Optic. Now, the reason I use this over a traditional sniper scope is because it gives me no sniper glint that enemies use to easily spot snipers from, meaning I can easily pick up that one-shot kill headshot down without blowing my position. It takes a bit of time to get used to, but does really help in the long run. I then have the FTAC Stalker Scout stock for faster ADS speed so I can quickly get my shot away and not stay still for too long and get popped by another sniper. And then finally, I use the focus perk so I can still be accurate whilst under gunfire. I cannot tell you how often this perk has saved my life whilst I'm playing Warzone. Also, I personally just prefer the HDR over the AX50 in Warzone. I just feel like it's a better sniper in this particular mode. Then the only difference to the perks is that instead of Ghost, I'm using Overkill to allow me to get both the Assault Rifle and Sniper in one single loadout, which is a pretty powerful combination in the early stages of a match. But that's also where my fourth loadout comes into play, which I call the M4A1 Ghosts. What you'll want to do is copy and replace loadout three into your fourth slot, then change perk two from Overkill to Ghost. Now, to take advantage of this loadout in a game, I'll choose my overkill class to get my sniper and M4A1. Then you'll get a second loadout and swap to this loadout to get Ghost and then pick your sniper up off of the ground. It just means that towards end game, you'll be able to stay off the radar and still have that assault rifle sniper combo. This class can also be used as a standalone, similar to my overpowered MP7 and Growl classes if you choose the RPG. But you'll notice that I use a Desert Eagle secondary. Now, I do this because I know that when using this class, I'll be picking my sniper straight back up. But on the Desert Eagle itself, I use the fully loaded perk, which gives me max ammo for pistols and SMGs. So I can then drop SMG ammo for one of my teammates if they need it. A small detail, but can really help at end game. My next best loadout for Warzone is then my Rush class. This is the class I use if I'm just wanting to run at squads using guns only. It's made up of an assault rifle and SMG. For your assault rifle, you can either use the M4A1 or Growl builds that we've already gone through. The M4 with the monolithic suppressor, M16 barrel, forged tack stock, stipple grip tape and 60 round mag is what I personally use on this build. I then pair that with the MP7 with the monolithic suppressor, recon barrel, tack laser, commando foregrip and 60 round mag. I then use cold blooded, overkill and amped so I can switch between the two weapons quickly whilst mid gunfight to make sure I'm using the best weapon for the distance that my opponent is at. And if I run out of my bullets in my magazine, I almost never reload in a gunfight with this loadout. I'll just switch to the other weapon. 
Then I have C4 to take out enemy vehicles with, and then the heartbeat sensor, just in case someone tries to run away or hide in a building. My safe class is what I like to call Endgame Panic. This is for when you've been brought back in with absolutely nothing at Endgame, but need to make sure that you've got all the right perks and ammo for your gun. So, I use the MP7 loadout that we should all be pretty familiar with right now. The Monosuppressor, Recon Barrel, Tac Laser, Commando Foregrip, and the 60 round magazine. And yes, for those of you wondering, it is that overpowered. You then want to have the Desert Eagle with the fully loaded perk to make sure you get max ammo for your MP7, which means you can play the end circle a little bit slower than you would if you had to rush an opponent to gear back up. Try and swap out the Desert Eagle for something better when you can, but it can still pack a punch. You then want Cold-Blooded, Ghost, and Shrapnel. I use this because normally, if I'm going for this class, it's an end game, and I'm not going to be switching off my MP7, which is where Amped usually helps out a lot. And an extra Semtex could make all the difference if enemies are in buildings. Tracker or Spotter can also be really good options also. And then finally, I have Stun Grenades, because I want to do everything I can to win those endgame gunfights, and the Heartbeat Sensor isn't likely to be as useful when most players will have Ghost at this stage of a match. And then my seventh loadout is my Growl Sniper class. This is exactly the same as my M4A1 Sniper loadout, but with the Growl instead. With the Monolithic Suppressor, Archangel Barrel, the Cronin Shark 2 Underbarrel, the 60 round magazine, and then the Cronin Sniper Elite Rear Grip. Then on the HDR, I have the Monolithic Suppressor, 26.9 Barrel, the Merc Thermal Optic, the FTAC Stalker Scout Stock, and then the Focus Perk. When I go to swap this class out for Ghost, I'll choose my Overpowered Growl class and swap the RPG for the HDR. And then for my 8th loadout, I've got the overpowered M13 build. And I honestly feel like the M13 gets overlooked a lot in Call of Duty Warzone because of players preferring to use the M4 or Growl, but the M13 has great mobility and is definitely one of the better weapons in the game. And if you want to mix things up a little bit, this is a great loadout to use. So on the M13, I used the Monolithic Suppressor, surprisingly, the Tempest Marksman Barrel, once again increasing that damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control, which is very, very important. I then used the Merc Foregrip to help make it also be accurate whilst hip firing, and because of the fire rate of the M13, it can make it pretty devastating up close, along with additional recoil control, and then I have the 60 round mag and stipple grip tape for faster ADS and sprint to fire speed. I then have that broken RPG as my secondary, I'm really sorry by the way, paired with Amped, Ghost and Cold-Blooded for my perks along with C4 and a heartbeat sensor to round up the loadout. Then my ninth best loadout for Call of Duty Warzone is another variant of my Rush class but uses the Growl instead of the M4A1 but is an incredibly powerful class to use if you're going for high kill gameplay. And then my 10th and final best loadout for Call of Duty Warzone is my SMG Sniper class which you may be surprised to know I don't use the MP7 with but instead I use the Org. Now the Org actually has the fastest time to kill at close range than any other SMG but also works a bit like an assault rifle because of being able to use 5.56 five, rounds. For the gun's build, I use the Monolithic Suppressor, obviously, the TAC Laser, which has almost zero negatives, the range of foregrip for better recoil control and aiming stability, then most importantly, the 5.56 five, NATO 60 round drum, which turns the AUG into a gun that's pretty meh into an absolute beast, with finally adding the stippled grip tape rear grip. This gun will feel weak until you get all the unlocks, but is definitely worth it in the long run. Paired with a HDR sniper to get you those long range kills, you won't be disappointed. But there we have it, my 10 best loadouts to use in Call of Duty Warzone. Do make sure to share yours down in the comments below. I'm always looking for new loadouts and class setups to try to help make me a better Warzone player. But I hope you found these useful. Do make sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty Warzone content and smash the like button, and I'll see you next time. Bye!